All right, so today I have a very special ration. This one is from REI. REI has made several different rations, not rations, survival kit we'll call it, um, storm kit, survival kit, and so forth. This is a predecessor to this guy right here. And you remember here a while back, we also did this guy. So this is Mountain Survival First Aid Kit. This is a storm kit, multi-purpose, all-purpose storm kit. You guys probably mostly seen these. So REI is in Tacoma, Washington. This is one of their first kits they've done. This is when they're first starting out. And we'll show you here in a little bit. They actually bought tins and repacked them and relabeled them um, for these little kits. So it's really neat. You can tell it's pretty old by looking at it. So it's this wilderness survival kit. Survival Information, Energy, Warmth, Shelter, Recreational Equipment Incorporated. And this was, oh, I guess back then they're in Seattle, but now they're in Tacoma. Very interesting. Kit includes cooking can or cup, red tape around lid, signal mirror uh, in lid, wire, whistle, matches, candle, sugar, salt, tea, boiling cubes, eight foot plastic tube tent, survival information. It says survival is the challenge to stay alive and the mountain rescue council tacoma unit member of the mountain rescue association a little bit of rest in the bottom it tells a little bit about it on top here and you can actually see they stuck the sticker over something else we'll flay that off here in a second and show you this one has the tape still on this is actually a pretty rare ration to get one this old we're gonna Peel this off here. I'm going to lay this over here and we'll put it right back on when we're done with it. Because as it is nice to keep it all original. So you can see the container is actually blue. Looks pretty, looks pretty moldy in there. This actually looks really good, the tube tent. smelly there's a signal mirror which is like a, essentially just a shiny sticker as a fire chief matches strike anywhere matches trans match incorporated Kenner Louisiana made in the USA I'm going to flay this little bad boy out of here I'm gonna try one of these matches out. It's sticky from the long. Ew. Ew. Are we gonna be trying those? I don't think so, boys. Like I said, this is an early 70s kit. Okay, let me get that out of there. Let's see, it's like pushed in. There we are. There we are. Nice bright purple tips of the matches. Man. Impressive, huh? That was definitely a... Usually old matches don't light right the first rip. Usually they're kind of wet and soft and weird. And these are not that. And we have some red rose tea. The dirty old red rose tea. Let me set that match over here where it's not going to burn the whole house down. This baby is so packed, so tight. Might be very difficult to get open. I mean, I feel kind of bad opening this stuff up, but I mean, it is what it is, right? If they had them crazy, they got some tough plastic on it. There we are. 
the red rose tea. Also, we do know from going to the dentist that a tea bag will stop bleeding too. So if you're bleeding out, you can stick these on your wound to also stop that. Here we have our salt. We have two little packs of salt in here. We have three packs of tea, three tea bags. And this one is made by Serva Portion Incorporated, Van Nu Van Nuys, Van Nuys, California. Oh, I can, I can smell that. Tasty. It smells it's, like it smells like a library. Yeah, it smells like that's definitely not good. Definitely not any good to drink that. It smells like chemical. It really does. Horrible. So here's old sticky here. We have three bullion cubes. They're it's like they're expired many, many, many moons ago. Many moons ago. Here is our tube tent. This is essentially just like a garbage bag type situation that you crawl into like a sleeping bag. Should we open all that? Probably not. Man. Ugh. Those bullion cubes. Here's a candle. And you can see here. It has like a plastic, maybe it's just the way it was cast, yeah. I don't really want to light this because I know we're going to set that. But give you a little bit of heat, I guess. Maybe you could boil some water if you have like a little tin or something, possibly. A little bit of light, maybe. So we got a few things left in here. Look at the sealer they have on the inside of the can, right? My blaster with a little silicone. We have our rape whistle here. Just in case you're out in the woods and some bear gets a little frisky with you. you start blowing on that. Some GH sugar. Sugar cubes. I mean, it was it was probably a good thought at the time to put bullion cubes in here, but that kind of poisoned the whole ration. It's that smell is just wretched. Those sugar cubes. And they thought very well. The plastic they use to wrap this stuff was very, very thick and tough. Which we know from MREs, that's what you need to keep food good. Oh, man. It's just those blood. It's just horrible. Horrifying. But as far as the quality of the package, it's like perfect. It's not even yellowed at all. But man, it's got some stank going on. And then here we have our little sheet. Oh, got a bread tire. I guess you could twist your sack together. Maybe you carry, I guess you could carry water in that. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Emergency sunglasses. What the heck? Black cloth. Looking to see. There's nothing in here at all. What are you talking about here? Black cloth with soot to reduce glare. I know where they're getting the black cloth at. I mean, I guess you could put some yellow sunglasses on. I think that'll work out. And plastic film, so it shows you how to make the little shelter here. So they're making like a little shelter like that, but I mean, that's going to be harder. You, know, you dig a big hole in the ground and put your deal over it. I mean, if it was raining, it's not going to work out too good. It shows you how to put a uh, brush on snow, SOS, make three different fires. It's very interesting finding dry wood. Tells you how to start a fire. Ground signals 
aid air searches, so they're spelling stuff out with sticks. Survival protection. It says survival brochure. Brute strength never counts in storms. Well, we always say if you're in a hurricane, or in Missouri, hurricanes are the last three words, tornadoes are the first three words. It's not that the wind's blowing, it's what the wind's blowing. Trees, cars, houses. No matter how tough you are, if it's blowing a house, you know, 140 miles an hour, and it hits you. So we have all the plastic insulation. It shows how to make a tent out of your little uh, plastic there. All kinds of interesting stuff. I guess if nothing else, it gives you something to, to read. Could you flag an airplane down with this? Yeah. With that? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say no on that one. <laughs> you have to be a whole lot better with that than uh, your average person, I guess. Uh, yeah, so waterproof matches and candles. Cut off break piece of candle. Light the candle stub with a match. Now light the wood. Works wonders on wet wood. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's a fire starter. It'd be really good. You just hold it on there and torch the wood till it lit, no matter what. And that's it. I mean, overall, it's kind of a neat little kit. That's what I would call the absolute bare minimum. I mean, if you're having a hurricane, tornado, earthquake, or any of the above, and you run over and stuck this in your pocket, I mean, I guess better having nothing. But not much better than having nothing, is it? So, I almost hate to cut this off here, but we want to see back in these days, it was a very small company, REI was. And they sourced out cans from other places. I hate to rip that, though. You know what I mean? It's going to rip. So this is American Motors Corporation, Detroit, Michigan. It's a polishing cloth. Can we even get this whole thing off of here? It's like I want to see it, but I don't want to destroy it. There we are. We're just going to do that. There you go. American Motors approved accessory. Wax treated polishing cloth for automobiles, fine furniture, highly polished surfaces. What would you use? And we're a car, guys. What would you use a wax treated polishing cloth on a car? I really don't know. Maybe it was before they had wax. Like, I guess it depends on what kind of wax it was. Like, what would they would have had? Maybe like silicone? Maybe back in the day? I don't know. I'm not really sure on that one. But, apparently they had it. They got a good deal on the cans. And that's pretty much it. Uh, so, uh, kind of a precursor. Uh, shows a little bit of this company, how they started out. So it is kind of neat. But that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Neat little survival kit. Thought you guys would want to see this. We got it here a while back. You've probably seen it in the background, the videos. And I thought today was a good day to bring it out and review it. That's going to be it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you all later.